you have to understand that God wants us to focus on our relationship with him, but he has a plan for animals too. If you look at Isaiah chapter 11, from verse 6, or rather verse 5 going down to 9, it tells you that the lion will eat grass like the ox, the wolf and the bear will dwell together, basically. And it tells you that the leopard and the goat, they will dwell together. It tells you that animals that don't basically relate, they will relate with one another. And there shall be no pain, no hurts in my holy mountain. So it's speaking prophetically, prognostically about the end time, about Revelation chapter 14, verse 1, which speaks about Jesus Christ appearing on Mount Zion on 144,000 saints. And basically speaks about also in the scripture, also talks about Revelation chapter 22, verse 1, talks about basically the eternal river. That should be Revelation 21 or Revelation 22. It talks about the new jerusalem and also the eternal river of life and there will be trees of life all over the place basically so there will be nations there will be kingdoms that we will sit and control and basically we will live in eternity with christ there will be no sorrow no pain there will be no death basically we will have overcome death completely like the scripture says in first Corinthians 15 verse 57 that death will be swallowed up basically so basically that's what will happen and animals will be in heaven but they will be in a different structure they will not be animals that will fighting will be fighting one another they will not eat one another alive they will not harm us like isaiah 11 says that the young child will put his hand in the asp den and in the cockatrice den basically and the young child will basically lead a group of dangerous animals so basically that's what will happen because when jesus christ comes like isaiah 11 says it talks about the first coming of christ from verse 1 to 5 and then it begins to talk about the second coming of christ when he establishes his judgment upon the earth it says that he will smite the earth with the rod of his mouth that speaks about the double-edged sword coming out of his mouth like he spoke about in revelation and then with the breath of his lips shall he slay the wicked so basically that's what it means basically because there will be a fire that will devour the false prophets and the evil people that will basically try to contend against the kingdom of god so that's why creation was created for man but there will be animals in heaven the scripture doesn't specify which kind of animals or if it will be every kind of animal it doesn't specify if the pets that you have right now will be with you in heaven because heaven is not just about you and your pet it's about you and god you having a relationship with god experiencing the different structures the different dimensions the vistas of his glory experiencing the brightness and the emblems of his light the different shades basically of his light reflections and refractions of his light that's why it's because of you he basically created you to be on this earth to dominate over all the animals so he wants to have a relationship with you he wants to dwell with you that's why he wants you to know him heaven is not about you dwelling with your family or with your animals as lovely as as beautiful and as, as valuable that is that's not the main purpose the main purpose is for you to have an, an eternal relationship with christ so i hope this helps you to know that there will be animals in heaven the scripture doesn't specify it will if it will be the pets that you have now but there will definitely be animals in heaven and i hope you understand now more about the age of accountability god bless you have a wonderful day